My name is Rufus Alcott. I am a guide, an alpine ski race guide for the visually impaired. I'm paired up with Michael Keir, who is an athlete on the uh, British Paris Snow Sport team. Well, I'm Michael Keir. I'm 25, do alpine skiing. It's a lot of fun. Been doing it for about two years. My visual impairment is tunnel vision. It means that I have no peripheral sight whatsoever. And there isn't actually much wrong with my eyes, it's all to do with they can basically you could call them connectors that go from my eyes to my brain. They're damaged. Once I get past a certain speed, um, I can't process what my eyes are seeing, so I am actually ahead of what I'm seeing. Like for instance, if we're racing towards a gate, generally if I'm seeing the gate, my body's already past it. The actual distance that we keep is actually regulated by the rules of the International Paralympic Committee. In order to maintain the distance that's required, um, there, there are two huge factors. It, it, it's the, the communication um, uh, from my point of view and also from Michael's point of view. I will indicate where I'm turning with an and and turn when I want Michael to turn. And then the feedback from him is absolutely vital. So he will say on if we're going at the right pace for him, if the distance is good set distance. Uh, off if I'm going too fast and go if, um, if I'm not going fast enough. We use comm systems. They are built into our helmets. We have microphones, obviously. If I'm carrying a bit too much speed and we need to get moving a bit, I can ask him to speed up as well. As Michael described earlier, um, with uh, what is quite a slow processing rate for the information that his eyes do receive, um, goes tend to be a bit of a surprise um, because by the time he realizes we're too close, we're way too close. Uh, I would get a go about where the distance from the tip of these skis is. Um, it makes life quite interesting. The first day was fun. <laughs> well, we're competing at the EPCAS international level at the moment. Uh, the EPCAS is anybody can enter that as long as they've got a classification. The main goal for this season is to get Europa Cup and then obviously the overall long-term goal is South Korea in 2018, Ping Chang for the Winter Paralympics. I'm Duncan Freshwater, I'm Performance Director for British Para Sport. We're here running a para race, Access for All, which is an initiative that we're rolling out to try and make snow sports more accessible to many, to capitalise on the interest after Rio. So my organisation started back in the 80s on the, the premise of trying to make it as accessible to everybody, no matter their disability or impairment, whether it was learning disability or physical. And latterly, we've started to take athletes through to go to the para games as well. But the inception of our organisation was ski schools, which allowed people to go and sit skis or with assistance around the mountains of Scotland. If you have an interest to get involved in skiing, uh, we have a number of ski schools up and down the country. Uh, they're run by a company called Disability Snow Sport UK. They're our parent charity. We have ski trips which go abroad as well. We have supervision to assist people in getting up to intermediate skiing. And then we also now have a subsidiary which effectively runs the national team. Pick up the phone or go online, search for Disability Snow Sport UK and contact the office, find out where your nearest centre is and go and book a lesson. Come along and get involved. There's no shame in this place. Wipe out, everyone does. It doesn't matter, give it a go.